Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's fight is apparently against an aerial jelly. Interesting. By the way, today's beverage is... <sighs> something quite interesting and something I also have not had for, I'm guessing, over a decade. I won't say the name, but you'll probably be able to work it out. It's the sound a fax machine works mixed with the digits at the end of one's feet. And with that said and done, let's see if we can fight the aerial jelly. I'm going to move these things back over a little bit, and then I'm going to start the fight. These are then going to be ordered to go as high as they possibly can. If there was one change I would make with these death drops is I'd probably put in, as a retrofit at the front here, another one of these, because they just seem to be just not good enough when it comes to the service ceiling. Like, they're okay, and that's the best I can describe. They're just okay. And, uh, yeah, this is the problem that we have here, and, oh, that's all kinds of bad. That couldn't have gone pretty much any worse. Let's get out of this. We need to move away from them, because this thing has got the height advantage, and we need to just get out of the way. Now, what I might do is bait it. Let me bring this down and forward, and hopefully... The aerial jelly will see that and head towards it. Come on. Just come down. That's it. That's it. And get on top of it. There we go. That was the plan. And it seems to have worked. There's the bombardment. Move back over the top of it. Don't let it get on top. Don't let it get on top. We did let it get on top. Um, so once again, we're going to have to move away from this thing. Move away, move away, because look at the service ceiling on that. That is immense. Um, another thing I could probably do, can I just ram it downwards? I mean, not with this, because, well, it doesn't seem to work at all. Ram down. It is actually, it is, oh, I was going to say it's sort of working, but it's really not. Um, are we able to get above there? Yeah, go. Go, go, go. The other option is ram, ram, ram. Uh, draw in 20 seconds. I mean, it might be a draw. It really might be a draw. I'm trying to ram this thing out of the way. Oh, hang on. We might have this one now. Get to there. Yes, we're there. We're above it. That is what we wanted. Okay, ground the ship. Just land on top of it. Don't care. Just stay on top of it now. We've got this. Almost certainly going to cause more damage to myself. Then end the enemy. And there we go. <laughs> I think one of them we've lost. It's a mobile. Um, yes, it is a mobile and cluster's destroyed. So there's the three reputation on there. Let's bring that back to our main area here. And let's discuss the episode. So we are currently researching the final ritual. And we'll set that going at some point. I'm going to bring this thing over to here. Uh, in terms of our reputation, we're on 53. So people consider this empire to be about as good or bad as any other. Our neighbours... We are all at peace with. Cobra is at war with two other empires. And yeah, this guy's at war with Cobra. Also in defense back of them. They're, yeah, there's only one, two, technically three left. But well, it's not really much of an issue. But how are we going to deal with this? Well... We have controlled everything on the right, and I don't want it. What I want is that, and that. Now, we could attack. I'm fairly confident we could attack, and most likely we would win. But we don't need to. We can work smart and not hard. Logistics office there, and a factory. I think we just need to work smart, not hard. Let's repair these here. And instead... Uh, build building. Put that there. Defences. I'm not even going to bother. And defences here is all fine. Scrap that. And scrap that. Scrap it for zero gold. It isn't even, it isn't even worth scrap price. Oh, hang on. This changes things. So, I'm going to pause it there. Codbra used to have two of the things I needed. They've just lost it to Fog Castle. However, what can we give them 
What can we give them? Diplomacy. Mere coffer. I demand this. I will offer. Oh, those. Wow, they won't. No way they're taking it. Oh, it's because they're not taking over yet. <clears throat> right. Okay. Let's start putting some stuff in here. Like cat bridge and things like that. Um, I'm just thinking if we can... Oh, cancel tribute. Oh, final ritual is complete. Let's go for planes. Cancel tribute. However... Mm. Okay, demand town and city then. I want that. Minus 200 and odd. Wow. Cancel. Um, reject. Make ultimatum. Demand that. Or it's war. They're not going to accept that either. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't need to rush this. We're not at war with anyone. So, we just need to probably build up around here. Uh, leave that. I'm not going to retrofit it. We just need to build up around here and take what we can. I wonder... Their rep is disliked and they're much weaker. And this guy... Is much weaker. Sim, sim, similar thing, basically. Very similar thing. And they're attacking one another. He's attacking his main area as well. Which sounds quite painful, actually. Um, 700 to repair that, actually. I thought it was a little bit less. That's still there. That's fine. This one's being built. We'll get a police station put in there. Just trying to reduce that unrest. Uh, we'll have a logistics center as well at some point. So they've repelled that and they're taking more territory. We should just remind ourselves of who we've got left. They're a bully and that guy's a conqueror. And we are the cultists. He's going back to there. Okay. What would it take for this guy... If I'd say demand that, or it's war, but I'll offer that. 94% chance. Make ultimatum. So, we've now gained control of that. So we've ceded this one to them, and we've gained that. Well, diplomacy... Make ultimatum. War. Demand that. But I will offer that. <laughs> and that's why I do like the diplomacy stuff. Because we can do this rather than having to smash them. <clears throat> hmm. They're currently not accepting it. Um, clockwork is ours. Would be nice. Ah. So. They have now accepted it. Your empire now controls all of the sites required for the final ritual, which will usher in the age of the worm eye and your victory. The ritual will take time. Choose a town with a ritual site to begin. So I'm going to fly these guys back to... One button. And I mean I could do it here. Is that a ritual site? No, it's a temple. And that's a temple. Well we know that's a ritual site, but I want to keep it out of the way. Hmm. 
Mm, where's the best place for it then? Follow. Final ritual progress. This is here. They may get an alert that something is happening. It wouldn't surprise me. But what is of note is just how much territory these guys have taken from one another. They really have taken territory. And I'm also aware that they're probably going to attack me. <laughs> <laughs> for what's going on. So I'm going to put fleets in places. Diplomatic offer from this guy. Seed Receive that Yes, and they want me to seed that. No. No, we need to control all ritual sites. So, let's continue to build defences. And also, make sure we have enough ships to take control of anything, just in case. You really have over there a supply ship. We could attack the giant bees. We could attack the turtle doves. <clears throat> hmm. Computers is done. Deep state. Double fleet supply limit. Security ministry. Oh, delegation. Uh, moon gazy pies and fine fabrics. Yes. Let's keep. Let's, let's send that back, actually. Not with them, because they're the bully. Diplomacy. Send delegation on. Yeah. Ritual is half. Another diplomatic delegation on. Are they still at war? I would be surprised if they are. No, they're not at war. I didn't think they would be. A new age dawns. 20 base research. 3 spies available. 6 unrest per city. View this city. Foment unrest, because why not? Um... <laughs> View the city. Form an unrest. Why not? And send a spy over there because we can. There are turtle doves there. There's giant bees there. Institute of... Was that anatomy there? Due to incorrectly mixed incense, the final ritual has been delayed by two months, 24 days. Ah, an involvement in a foreign... Th uh, okay. Involvement in a foreign agent. That's what's happened there, probably. Right, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. How are we doing for cash? More than enough. Build ship. Let's build... A... Undertaker. Oh, wait, we'll build two. And a supply ship. Got almost everything in this one. Just going around, see if there's anything we can build factories that's income as well it is income yeah ah oh, been delayed again foreign agents right we need to do something about that um what's the best we can what's what can we do a field station wouldn't help a garrison no Research. Well, Deep State we're doing, which is going to give us Security Ministry, which I'm hoping we can build, and that'll afford us some advantages. Let's go for... Got Spy Defense. Wasp Killer Marines. Wow. Um, let's select that. Uh, double check in, say, here. Police Station. Ministry of Security. A tireless, watchful eye on everybody. Minus 15 unrest in all towns and cities. Plus 25 spy defense. 
build. In fact, we'll not build it. Oh, look at that. Foreign agents tried to delay it again. They're really not happy. It's look, we're not. It's not a ritual. It's just um, some sort of extreme party. We just, we just cannot get enough of it in the incense. They just don't understand our ways. And we don't either. We just... Oh, they're at war again. <laughs> yeah, we sort of expected that, didn't we? We can... We can build a spy network. I'd rather wait for it to be a bit more established. There you go. Fail to, once again... Fail to stop the ritual. We're on. Three quarters. 75% of that ritual. We've got a Ministry of Security about to be built in Cubus. So there it is. An incoming enemy fleet. Pirates. Going to there, are they? Well, it would be rude not to uh, counteract that. <laughs> and I don't think they're going to last long with all of these mini tanks. Is that them all? Start the fight. Shots fired from right to left are less accurate. Fine for me. And... Yep, pirates might be raiding us. But they're going to come back to a ruin. Looks like they can store their ill-gotten gains in a hole. Nope, no, they just actually don't exist anymore. Fair enough. Oh, we can't build one there, can we not? Can you only build a certain amount of... Yeah, diplomatic delegations. Can you only build a certain amount of Ministry of Security? There's faster cannon reload and uh, now researching cybernetics. <clears throat> Before this pops off, because I've never seen it work, let's talk about the ships. The Abscess was one of the ships already in-game that we started with, so we just renamed it. Very good vessel. I like it. Got good cannons, decent speed, service ceiling is not very good, armor's fine, cultless quarters, stained glass. Can't go wrong. Death Drop, probably the best vessel of the series. Could do with a version 2, not even a version 2, just add another on the frontier, two struts up, and then a pressurized suspendium dust tank. We don't even need the ladders that I've put there, there, and there. Don't even need them, so I could remove those, put a straight deck across, and have another one of those. That would give us a service ceiling of about 280, maybe a bit more. So that would be perfect. The Nightmare. Um, surprisingly fun. Actually, I knew it was going to be fun. I expected it to be fun. But surprisingly effective, albeit with limited testing. It uh, paired up very nicely with the Kraken Revenant. And the Undertaker. Yeah, there was no surprises. It's a boarding vessel. It's pretty much the same as the Sparrowhawk. Sparrowhawk has four marine barracks. The Undertaker has one, two, three. It's fine. It just it just works. It doesn't require any technology of uh, to speak of, really. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, we've also got the mini tanks as well as the defensive structure, which people have pointed out is pretty much the same as one of the base ones in the game as well. <laughs> Stuff that we haven't made. Uh, design ship. Many weapons-wise. Got Hazar rifles, heavy caliber rifle pulled straight from Hazar's skiffs. There you go. We haven't used the deck guns or the bombards or the rockets. Um, Gatling guns. Connect bays we did put on one, but we got rid of. We certainly. Uh, is there another cannon? Yeah, the bombard cannon. Heavy bombard. A wide bar gun with a high explosive incendiary round. It just says, utterly pulverizes anything without armor. <laughs> Sounds cool. Haven't made it. And... Where would it be? Come on, a crew? No. Troops, of course. We've got marines, grenadiers, dragoons. In research as well. There are... Couple of things. You've got mech spiders, which we've seen before. Clockwork is ours. We have got computers there. So that should be should we be able to build those? 
Design ship. Be under aircraft, right? Yeah. Clockwork as our bear. So it's unrelenting, un uh, unrelenting armoured clockwork kills vehicles with bad aim. <laughs> yeah, we've got one of those. And also this thing, which is a Gatling skyboat, and it's brilliant. A simple, slow-moving flying board carrying a Gatling gun. <laughs> it just slowly goes towards the enemy and then gets shot down most of the time. But if it doesn't, then it can cause some serious damage. Anyway, let's see what happens with the final ritual. That's it. Victory. That is achievement unlocked. Age of the Worm. I wish there would be a. Well, I thought I was hoping there was going to be a bit of a. Uh, I don't know end text of some kind, and proclaiming how the the world is being consumed and all this sort of thing. But no, we get the dove flying towards the ship and the bright light and everything. Um, <laughs> at least like mountain, like you know, sort of Sauron's eye beaming down and lava going everywhere. Maybe. <laughs> be a bit more fitting but we have indeed won the game this is our final splash screen for the Vic and Terry so that is Cultington we started off for our territory and basically we were never bested there was a time at one point where Highford had got there they all were, those were on the top right of the map and they were quite aggressive but they were just too aggressive and we just slowly kept taking territory. Fleet strength, not much of a surprise. Again, this guy sort of peaking around the 20 months limit. Income. Wow, actually that... Oh yeah, Cubis makes sense. They had quite a bit of territory. See, they were peaking in roughly the same areas as well. And indeed, they did beat us, Cubis, at one point around here surprising to me money wise wow whoa so umabund until they were utterly destroyed had all the money ah what will probably have happened there is a similar thing like that one yeah for high ford basically they had territory but they didn't have anywhere to spend it they didn't have a city, they just had one of the little town outpost things. So they probably got all the upgrades on that that they could, but they couldn't build anything else, which is why they've been collecting lots of money. Uh, Revenant, <laughs> I think that's the six grand there. It's just Revenant spike, and then, you know, towards the end. Tech-wise, hmm, I mean, we've just blasted past everybody. Deaths, it looks like Cubis has really suffered throughout the game. A menace as well, yeah. And obviously some of them are no longer in existence, like our, our neighbours here. Rizigut. They're gone. And there you go. There is the territory. So we started from the top left here. Worked our way around. We can see, as we're working down, all of this territory up here is changing as well. And we quickly stacked all of those. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah. We can see Highford took a lot of territory, but because they were an evil conqueror, I think they were, they've, they've bitten off a little bit more than they can chew. I'm surprised at that guy, though, as well. Uh, Sudney. And they've went and, yeah, sort of taken several different bits. And then that's where we jumped on the mainland. And this is where we stalled for quite a while. We did stall for quite a while. But then, we took these bits. We've lost a couple. Of, I think we'll lose them at some point in this replay. Yep. Yeah, no, no. We took that. Then we would have started to lose one or two of them. Or not, maybe. Took this. There's the trades. And then, there might be a little bit more. But that'll basically be it. And then, boom. <laughs> Explosion. Yeah. Worm eye, etc. I'm going to call it there for now. That's been a bit of Airships Conquer the Sky, specifically the Conquest mode going through as a cultist faction, which, yes, you do have special options. You have cultist crew, which can be brought back to life with the, um, the medics, and you can summon the Kraken Revenant, and finally, you can do a ritual to win the game by destroying, I'm guessing, everything. Hope you have enjoyed it. That's been Conquest mode with the not-so-newly-released uh, a <laughs> diplomacy update definitely makes it a much more in-depth and compelling experience. 
we're going to call it there for now. If you want to see more of their ships, by all means, let me know. We're going to give this series a bit of a break. May do some standalone videos, some ship builds, etc. But very much keen on coming back to the Conquest mode. Albeit with a different angle. It would have to be a different spin on it rather than just the same thing again. We've done a Diplomacy 1. We've done a Cultist 1. What have we come back with? What would the flavour be? Would we... We were certainly doing a role play of some kind, so playing either tall but not wide, playing very wide, very aggressively, maybe taking stuff over, quite passive, being very selective, doing a lot of spy stuff. Just let me know what you think for future ones and we'll go from there. Hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.